welcome one and welcome all, baby, to my indoor grow space. It's not much, but it's mine. Orchid <laughs> for dummies. I am Fal Pal Darrell, and in today's video, I just want to share with you five care tips that will help you sustain your beautiful orchids while you are out zipping it and zooing it for Valentine's Day. Stay tuned. Welcome on, back, welcome, welcome, welcome to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. This is my indoor growth space. It's not much, but it is mine. Please like this video before you exit. Please do that for me. If you are a new, a new viewer, please subscribe. Ring the bell so you will be notified. Now, I hope that you guys have the best Valentine's Day in the world. I want to share a couple of care tips for your indoor orchids that will relieve you of anxiety as well as make sure that your beautiful orchids are doing well while you are out zipping it and zooing it. <laughs> zipping it and zooing it, honey. Yes. So the first thing that you want to do is for your orchids that's well ventilated and your orchids that's potted and bark, you want to make sure to give them a good old soaking. Okay, and pure rainwater, no tap water, no fertilizer. When I say a good soaking, you want to double the amount of time that you would normally soak them, okay? As you take your vitamins, you want to give them a little vitamins, okay? This is some good old seaweed kelp that I'm using as a foliar spray to give them a little potassium and a little calcium. Now, when it come down to this good old window seal, when it come down to your orchids that is in water culture, you want to make sure that you change the water before you go. Give them fresh water, okay? As you can see, the water is now empty because I'm getting ready to change it. I want to make sure that they have a, you know, a successful growing experience while their daddy is away. Okay, now the ones that I'm worried about the most is the ones that's, uh, that is in clay pots. So you definitely want to soak them as long as you can. Soak this little baby right here, I will soak it for an hour because I'm going to be gone for three days, okay? And I would normally have to water this orchid every other day. So I'm gonna soak her an hour and she's gonna be fine. Remembering not to use tap water and remembering not to use fertilizer, okay? Mm -hmm. You got it. I hope you have a great time. Tell me all about it. Where are you going? I'm going to Texas for the very first time. Stay oh, come on back, baby. One last thing before I um, go. Remember that on your window seal, especially with it being so cold outside, make sure that you don't have your blooms pressed against the glass. The leaves are not pressed against, uh, against the glass. You want to make sure that you pull your orchids away from the window, okay, where it's still on the window seal, it's not going to fall, but it's not all the way on the window, the glass, which is going to be the coldest. Also, make sure that your um, windows are insulated. If they are not, you can get you a towel to um, insulate it yourself across this window seal, okay, because that cold air, that draft that could potentially come through the window would um, blast your blooms and could also kill your plants. So welcome on back, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, I want you guys to think about the lighting situation. I have grow lights, so if you don't have anyone home that will be able to turn the lights on and off, go and get you one of those timers, okay? Put your orchid on a timer, okay? So the lights will go on and go off. Now, if you are going to be gone and you don't feel comfortable leaving your window open, okay, you want to run the lights a little bit longer, maybe an hour longer than normal. So they will still get that sufficient lighting 
while you are away. You can do it, but you gotta stay tuned. Now, your Uncidiums that is predominantly potted into bark, you want to soak them for about six hours, okay? Six hours, because once you um, leave, Yes, they do have these pseudobulbs that they can pull nutrients from, but that's not what you want because once they wrinkle, they will not get back to the pristine condition that they were in, okay? Such as this baby right here. This is another one that is potted in compacted sphagnum moss. So I would water her for only three hours, okay, before I go. We want our pseudobulbs nice and plump before we leave. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. Welcome on back. Now, please, fail pals, remember that if you have blinds, remember that you can leave them cracked like this, okay, to keep those nosy neighbors out of your home. Just like this is enough for your Phalaenopsis orchids to know that it's a new day or you can leave them completely open and just close the drapes, okay? That's what you can do. Remember to get you a timer if you have grow lights, okay? Let me know what is the longest that you have been away from your beautiful orchids, okay? And did they sustain their self while you were gone? Did they behave? <laughs> Let me know in the comment box Bell below. Pals, make sure to close that vent if it is above your orchids that is in bloom, okay? That dry heat or dry air can blast your bloom. So make sure to close the vent. Make sure to keep the ceiling fan going so it's well ventilated, okay? Leave your home at a temperature of 72 to 74 degrees. Stay tuned. Come on back. Thank you so much. Please like this video. Okay, like it, like it, like it. Now, when you are talking about your bandas that are bare rooted, okay, you want to soak them for a whole day. Okay, give them a good old soak in pure rainwater or distilled water before you go. Let them soak overnight so they will be okay because they are going to be the ones that are affected the most. Because Vandas indoors, we have to water them maybe once, twice a day, okay? So right now, just water them overnight and they will be okay. They will be just fine. I will keep you guys updated, but you got to stay tuned. Now, even your um, new orchids, these big dendrobiums right here that's potted in this complete moss, what you want to do is soak that as wheels, get it saturated, okay? Because you're going to be gone. You don't know. It could be three days. It could be a week. You don't know. It depends on how the things are going with your husband. So, fail pals, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that these care tips will help relieve anxiety while you are out zipping it and zooming it on this Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day until next time.